Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. I'm going to do a quick update on this Blink uh, Sync module. This is Blink Sync module number two. So, um, you know, this came out at the end of 2020, but only as a bundle. And then starting in January of 2021, you could buy it individually, which is what I did because I already had Blink cameras. But I want to talk about um, how it works without a subscription. Uh, I do have another video that I posted before and I was still on a trial period of the subscription and things have changed once the subscription ended. And so I want to cover that, um, the good and bad of that. So um, you can tell if you have a Sync 2 module because it has a USB port on the side of it. And then you put a little USB flash drive in there. So I actually, I already unplugged mine and I put it in the computer. I'm going to show you um, kind of how it stores the files and what size they are and whatnot. But to get into the, uh, the the details, when you have a subscription, it doesn't really work as I thought it would work in that it does just a backup of the file. So with a subscription, all your recordings go to the cloud. Uh, so you always have to have internet connection. They go to the cloud and then overnight, um, sometime, I think it's kind of a random, I, it wasn't uh, consistent, but it was sometime in the middle of the night, it would then back up all the files that were saved during that day and put them onto your USB drive here at your house. And then they would stay there and they weren't in any way linked back to um, your cloud thing. So if you deleted them on the cloud, they would not delete from here. You know, it would just fill up um, the USB drive and then it would stop saving them to them. It wouldn't automatically delete them like they do in the cloud. So, you know, what's the point of the backup on the subscription? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I guess it makes you feel good if you have a local copy, but obviously I would think the cloud is actually probably a more robust method than a, a local copy here. But the interesting part to me is the local storage after the subscription ended. So my trial ended uh, just a couple days ago, and now I've been playing with my phone, and I was kind of surprised to see how much it changed um, on here um, because now when you go into your preview files you actually have the cloud and then your local and um, you can go in there and pick your files um, and play them from the app before I didn't see that as an option uh, with a subscription um, now I could have missed that but um, it, it was kind of unique all right, so on the app, uh, I'll bring that up here and show that to you on the screen. So for, um, you know, your home thing, you have now a sync module once you have one that you can click on. So I'll tell you your, um, you know, your Wi-Fi signal on it. Um, you can set up your different networks there. You can click on local storage here and you can see now it says 3%. I, I actually deleted my Blink backup stuff. So now this is only just, I think, six days of um, local storage. So that's why it's only 3%. But then it tells me, you know, what cameras are on there, and then you can click eject. So those are kind of your options there. Not a whole lot to it. Um, but if you go back and you go to your recorded um, stuff, this is where, to me, in the top here, you know, before it was always cloud, I never noticed the little Halsey, um, you know, that's just the name of my local um, USB, but, you know, now it's there, and um, I don't really like the names. You can see these, the names for it, ha you know, I, I don't know exactly, I guess that's the hour. It's not though. I, I'm not even sure how that naming is is laid out. Uh, it doesn't seem to to make full s sense there. But um, what is interesting is that now it seems to save these real time. So as soon as motion is triggered and you don't have the subscription, it gets saved to that uh, local. I'm. I haven't verified if it first goes to the cloud and there's like a slight delay or if it actually writes directly to it. Um, but it certainly is uh, much quicker, which was nice because before you had to wait a whole day before they were saved to, to there. So 
Um, that's kind of cool. And then I did verify that this does work when you're away from your current, you know, home Wi-Fi network. So when I'm out somewhere else, um, I can view the files that are on this USB from away from home without setting up anything special. In fact, my my T-Mobile home internet that's up there. It doesn't have any um, options to open ports. So um, this is able to get around that. You don't have to open ports or do any kind of special sharing. I don't even have a, uh, a uh, you know public IPv4 um, WAN IP address. So so that that was something I was actually pretty impressed with. That I was able to view these files remotely um, when I'm away from the house. Now they are a little bit slower to um, to load up. And you know, if you click on them, you'll see that they are not as quick as you would like them to be. Um, let me pull one up that. So you know, before it would be pretty quick at loading a cloud one. For this one, and I'm even you know on the Wi-Fi, so I'm local here. It takes a second uh, for it to pull up and load, and you can see we got little baby swinging in the bottom left so it certainly works and um, I'm pretty happy with that I don't have any qualms now all right so let's show how the file format is actually on the computer so on here on the main USB there's a, um, a blink folder and if you had a subscription there would be a blink underscore backup as well but on here it has the dates so this is the year and then the month that it's saved and then inside that is the year the month and then the day and then inside of that is um, the time so 000623 you know that's telling you um, the time in 24 hour format and then the camera that it saved and then the file number. So let's go back to a day when I have a couple of them. So, you know, this one you can see. And so what I found is that the file format um, in high quality, it's about um, five megabytes or so for a 30 second video at high quality. So that's the best quality setting in the app. So that gives you a rough idea. I mean, this one, I have a 128 gigabyte um, flash drive. I've been using that for since the end of January um, now. So February, March, April, and most of May. So we'll call it uh, four months. And I think it's at like 25% of storage, just to give you a rough idea. So basically 128 gigabytes for me will last pretty much a year. But obviously that just varies on how much you record, how much motion there is. Now the one thing I haven't played with a whole lot is the whole motion uh, alerts. Uh, I, I've been at home <laughs> all, all the time pretty much um, lately. So I, I actually have all the alerts turned off. And um, I know without a subscription, if you get a motion alert, you can watch that video once and then it deletes it that's if you didn't have a sync module but obviously now i know that it saves it um pretty much right away to your sync module so you can always go back and look at it so for me without a subscription away from home i can go in there and see all the recordings so this makes me feel a lot better uh, than i thought before when I had this, the trial subscription, I actually thought less of the sync module and the features in it. Now that I don't have a subscription, I certainly feel pretty much no need to pay for a subscription. Um, I think this guy's only $25. Uh, and then you get paid a little bit for a USB flash drive as well. And I guess that's one thing to note, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't manage the files for you. So it doesn't delete the oldest files once you get full. You can see if you get full, and I assume that the app will warn you that your USB uh, drive is getting kind of full. But you do have to manually take it out, put it in the computer, and then uh, clean up the space on it. So that part's a little bit annoying. But like I said, if you get a bigger flash drive, 
Um, it's a once per year type thing, and therefore I'm uh, I'm happy with this. So I hope you like this video. If you want to see the unboxing or something, you know I do have the other um, sync module video. And then obviously I have lots of other videos on my channel that uh, you guys can can watch and subscribe, and you'll see some more uh, coming up. Uh, normally every week, if not uh, more than that.